We really rely on the outside groups to come up with good ideas, positive ways to make change, and the Badger Institute's at the forefront of that. So I love reading the reports that you produce. I love talking to the policy staff that you have. I like the intellectual arguments that you engage in. The Badger Institute coming up with creative, thoughtful ideas makes the most impact. One of the largest things that Badger does do, and they do it very well, is they'll have the research, but then they also bring in the advocates, and they'll bring in stories and videos and give us the tool for the free market pr principles that we're trying to propose and we're trying to get done for the state. We're just incredibly thankful uh, for all the work Badger Institute's been doing behind the scenes. We see it, we feel it, and it's uh, literally making the difference for each of us. Well, we love this state. This is our home, but it's mediocre on all the big issues, productivity, migration, business creation, income. And we have other problems. We have a lack of, lack of opportunity in this state. Our schools are mediocre at best. We have so many kids that can't read or write. And that's why we put together the Mandate for Madison. In a concise way, a book of policy prescriptions to make this state a better place. This manual was fantastic. And if you look at my copy here, you'll see that it's all highlighted and underlined um, because I found it a, a, a wonderful tool. The Mandate for Madison that the Badger Institute put together is a great roadmap with guideposts that show us the policy changes needed to put Wisconsin's economy on a sound footing. Yeah, we really found some of the best minds in America, uh, both in Wisconsin and elsewhere, to come in and uh, tell us how we can do better here. We did a lot of storytelling, a lot of journalism, and we also turned it over to our advocates in the Capitol, who did a wonderful job really making sure that our ideas are translated into policy. We, bar none, produce the highest quality output of original research, investigative journalism, news, analysis, podcasts, videos. The Badger Institute's been involved in pushing for parental choice for 35 years. And we were a little discouraged last November with all the acrimony in the Capitol, but it turned out that in the end, there were historic significant increases in funding for these schools. So the highlight of this session is the expansion of school choice in Wisconsin. Getting the former DPI secretary um, to, to sign that, pretty astounding, and it's, it's a great accomplishment. In my 20 plus years working with the Badger Institute, one of the constants has been parent choice, making sure kids get equitable funding. They've done the research, they've done the communication. What made this session different is they advocated. They actually had an advocate on the ground helping shape policy. The Badger Institute did a really good job with their published reports and their studies on the benefits of school choice and then following that up with some, I think, really powerful and impactful videos that demonstrated to, to lawmakers and the general public. I mean, I was pleasantly surprised that we were able to get this kind of uh, victory uh, for parent choice. We can attribute that to the, the broad coalition that we were able to pull together, obviously including the Badger Institute, uh, the work of people like Jim Bender because of his know-how, his experience, his relationships. And while there were two coalitions, what was important is the Badger Institute was a part of both of them. Well, the Badger Institute has been working behind the scenes, basically to make sure that guys like me can follow a passion to open schools like this at Kingdom Prep. I mean, running a choice school is challenging for a lot of reasons, but the fact that you're trying to do it on you know, nickels and dimes compared to what other institutions use is really difficult. To have this funding now, I believe that we can actually hire many of the positions that we need to hire. The number one reason that people choose to leave a school is one of two things, educational quality and safety. Many parents are choosing to leave MPS because their kids don't feel safe. Badger's done the research around that and they've given us the statistics and tools to say, look guys, here's the result of resource officers. It's not a negative, it's positive. The criminal justice system is an extraordinarily part of our communities. And unfortunately, because of funding issues, we have lost a significant number of attorneys, both staff attorneys on the public defender and prosecutor side, as well as private attorneys. Well, we believe in limited government, but government can be so important when it comes to public safety, when it comes to getting justice for victims, when it comes to getting a fair and free trial. 
and we didn't have that in Wisconsin. With partners like the Badger Institute, we were able to take all of that research, take um, all that data up to the Capitol and talk about what we really need to move forward. And the legislature listened. The Badger Institute has had a profound impact on the justice system that will not only be felt in this budget, but for years to come. You know, it's, it's really great to have organizations such as the Badger Institute who are pushing conservative ideology, especially in the, in the tax area. In Wisconsin, we don't have enough workers, and the data in the Badger Institute's report shows us that states with a flat tax or a very low uh, or even no income tax are magnets for workers. It's not so much that Wisconsin is moving in the wrong direction, it's that we're not moving at all and everybody else is moving in that direction. What we did achieve is getting the idea of a flat tax out there and getting the support that we did get on both the Assembly and the Senate side. I, th I think we have shifted the discussion. The report that the Badger Institute put out there about the benefits of a flat tax is really helpful in getting that conversation going. I think that should be our, our number one objective uh, moving forward. One of my favorite quotes from Jefferson is, you know, the natural of order things is for government to grow and liberty to recede, and that's so true. You just have to be there every day to fight for our democracy, to fight for capitalism, to fight for limited government, individual aspiration, all the things that ensure opportunity and make this state a better place. We could not do one minute of this work without generous folks who contribute to our mission and invest in our mission. Without your generosity and your support of institutions like the Badger Institute, we would not have the tools we need to advance free market, federalism, less government policies. I just want to thank the folks that make the reports like this valuable to guys like me. One thing I can tell you about the Badger Institute, if you invest in it, those dollars are going to go to work and they're going to make Wisconsin a better place to live, work, play, and learn. I know the philosophies that we believe in, limited government, free enterprise, more opportunity, are the ones that are going to continue to make our country great. And the only way that we have that happen is by people who are financially successful and giving an opportunity for groups like Badger to research public policy that will be beneficial to the state to flourish and thrive. And I'm glad they're here in Wisconsin. We could not ask for a better partner.